Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. I'm a sailor on the North Wind. We're laying over in Windhelm for a while. It's good to spend some time on solid land. A life on the river makes for weak legs, so I do a lot of walking when we dock. Captain Kiar expects, but he's a fair man. He never fails to reward hard good. work and loyalty. Good. You're here. Took you long enough. I need you to save my brother, Draenos. I realize that it is a strange request for you people. However, you're my last hope. My brother has been captured by the Thalmor. They have a secret prison a short walk east of here, near the border of Morrowind. That's where they are holding him. How long have the two of you been in the skooma business? How did you... No matter. A long time. Nearly twenty years. Since we were both twelve years old. Your brother. He's not like you. He is a Dunmer? How do you know all of this? I know many things. Well, you're right. He is a Dunmer. We were adopted by a kind Imperial woman after we both had lost our parents many years ago. But that's not the point. The point is, I will pay you people a lot of money to save him. Over time, I have been known to be able to acquire information. Not only do I know where this secret prison is, I know that it has an entrance that is unguarded, because the elves don't even know about it. I know of the entrance he speaks of, but there is something else on his mind. Something I can't quite see. Well, the secret entrance is connected to a cave. Probably won't be the easiest thing to get into. But there is another way. There is a group of Jesticars transporting a prisoner. Since there is a high elf around, whichever way you get in will be fine with me. However, I can give you a bonus if you kill everyone in the prison, including the other prisoners. Got something to say? What's the plan? Every night, I walk around the Grey Quarter mm -hmm. and let them Greyskins know what I think of them. I'm a sailor on the North Wind. We're laying over in Windhelm for a while.
What was that? realized I left my pet saber cat in Markarth. I know this place. We are not the only ones here. There are four guards and three prisoners, including Dranos. I know where Dranos is, listener. We are here to save you, Darkskin. Thank you. It's been a long time since I've seen a friendly Murr. I'm not friendly. I'm scary. I'm assuming Drakeus sent you here, but I can't leave just yet. Why? What my brother didn't tell you, probably because he didn't know, is the reason I got caught. And why is that? The reason I got caught is because the woman I love is here. When Medora was captured, I figured that since she was infiltrating the Thalmor, she would have ended up in one of their secret prisons. So I found out which one she was in and got myself caught. We need to get her out of here. We cannot save her, my brother. In fact, we cannot allow her to live. Your brother requested that we leave no witnesses to your whereabouts. You can't. Not if I kill the two of you first! Huh? Yes? Yes, listener. No witnesses. I just don't hear thoughts, listener. I can take them. He won't remember her. Uh, what happened? You fell and hit your head. Of course. Thanks for getting me out of that cage. <sighs> I'll make my way out of here and speak to my brother.
And what might you need? Hmm? Be careful! Yes? Be careful! Yeah? Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Ah, there they are. My brother's saviors. It will be good to get business up and running again. Now tell me about the other matter. Brutal. I like it. I wouldn't want to cross you guys. Well, here's your payment and the bonus, as promised. We'll drive out the Empire from this land that we own. With our blood and our steel, we will take back our... Those are my daughters. Now my wife? How much... Both...
alchemy components or training. Have fun. Madness is merry and merry in its might. When the jester comes calling, he's in the field of night. This is already starting to feel like home. Must be all the bloodstains. Yes? How can I assist? Hmm? Well, you take a seat. beginning to lose hope that you would ever come. Is it really so strange that I would hope for assassins to save me? It's my husband, Camus. He's kidnapped my children. Please, they must be so scared. Be of service. Yes. Yes, sir.
are you people? My wife? That crazy lady back in Morthal. <laughs> she isn't my wife. These aren't her kids. They're mine. These are my kids. About six years ago, she kidnapped them from me. I'm taking them back. And you can't stop me. Wait. Are you with the Dark Brotherhood? I've been praying for you for a while now. I am a noble. I had my friends from when I was Alakir help me track down my children. I am just dressed like one because we didn't want to attract attention. But if you truly are here from the Dark Brotherhood, I can pay you money to fulfill my contract and kill that crazy woman. Mama. children call her mom. Why would they run to her if she wasn't their mom? You remember when I told you that Jezekar smells something funny? Jezekar thinks that Kamas is the father. Izum, please tell us the truth. I'm getting tired of betraying you like the villain. I'm telling you the truth. One last chance, Kamas. Tell the truth about your injury or I will. What injury? I'm not lying. Lady, I have no idea who you are. Camus, poor Camus. The truth is, my husband was injured in the Great War. His injuries has gone deep, and it makes him forget. Sometimes he's back there in the war, and sometimes he's here. I got my children out of that household long ago, and I did so with your permission, Camus. You knew that you weren't fit to raise these children, not when you couldn't even remember who they were most nights. My Rukna, you are full of lies. I didn't even fight in the Great War my wife did. She died, giving birth to your guitar there. Six years ago, you came and stole them away. I've spent my whole fortune trying to find you and get them back. Yes, Camus. We both fought in the Great War, and I didn't die in childbirth. I'm standing right here in front of you. How can you not recognize your own wife? Maybe the kids know. Have you not been listening? The only part of the Bible stories that lines up is that these kids have not seen this man in six years. They wouldn't remember. Something still smells funny, sister. It wouldn't hurt to ask. Kataro. Is this man your dad? What shall we do, listener? We have the contract from both of them. How can I assist? Hmm? As you command, listener. Why are they hurting you? Ah! Oh, oh dead body.
Oh, hi, listener. I was hoping to be gone before you got back. I don't know. There's something comforting here. Would you even let me leave if I wanted to? I thought so. So I'm forced to live here a prisoner? I'm leaving. Kill me if you have to. I don't care anymore. What? How did you... There is no way that you could know that from a look. How do you know that look I had? Y you're right. It was a long time ago. I was born in the middle of the Great War, which was getting so desperate that my dad and my uncle left to fight, and only my uncle came back. At first, it wasn't so bad. He took care of my mom and I, and he felt guilty about his brother's death. By the time he had come back, I had already forgotten my real dad, so all of this had seemed normal to me. Over time, we lost him to his nightmares, and when he couldn't take it anymore, he would hit me. I resented my mom for years for not stopping him. It wasn't until later that I realized that Dad's death left her an empty shell, and that she couldn't help me even if she wanted to. One day, I ran away from home. I wandered for a few weeks, obviously not getting very far from solitude, but I couldn't stand the thought of not saying bye to my mom. So, I went back, and she was dead. It was my fault. My uncle didn't have me to take his rage out on anymore. So, he killed her. In that moment, something just came over me. Like a whirlwind, I snapped his neck. It wasn't even too hard. He was in such a drunken stupor after what he had done to my mom. At first, I was horrified by what I had done, but... Over time, I became afraid that the darkness was gone. But more importantly, I was afraid of what it had turned me into. Of how much I enjoyed snapping his neck. The bones breaking in my hands as the life just faded from his eyes. I suppose we do. Wait, how do you know about Beto? I don't understand. I've heard of it, although I'm no expert in it by any means. Who was Lucian Lachance? What was he doing in solitude? What? What woman? Who was it? So, my great-great-and-so-on-grandfather was... What does this have to do with me? You think that me being related to him will somehow help the Brotherhood out? Don't buy it. You're some great organization. By the eight, you people killed the Emperor! People speak of the Night Mother and of the Brotherhood in the streets now more than ever. But why me? What is a rich girl from Solitude going to do that the Brotherhood can't? Why do you need me if you all are so powerful and widespread? Unless... People speak your name now more than ever. For a long time, as long as I can remember. The Brotherhood was only talked about in whispers. But now, people speak about you openly in the streets. There are so few of you in this sanctuary. So very few. And the Emperor's men? They said they had killed you all. That they had killed the last of the Brotherhood. You're a dying organization. You, Nazir, Babette, 
The few others? You're the only ones that are left, aren't you? If that's true, then you're rebuilding the Brotherhood, raising it up to its former glory. So that's why you need me. That's why you don't want me to leave. You need me to strengthen the Brotherhood. I... I want to learn. I want to help. Will there ever come a time when the people of Skyrim no longer need our service? Sir, we must work to uphold our traditions. In addition to reforming the Black Hand, we must teach our new initiates and our older children the importance of the Five Tenants. No longer will we abandon our tenants, and anyone who breaks a tenant must face the wrath of Sisyphus. Yes, I am Alessandre Dupre. Our unholy matron has informed me that you are in need of formal guidance in the ways of old. Allow me to demonstrate.
do you need, listener? Of course, listener. As you command, listener. about you. Funny how that works. Excuse me, do you know anything about this house? Seen anyone enter or leave? Seems no one in this city has. I'm with the Vigil of Stendar. I believe this house might have been used for Daedra worship. Evil rites and so forth. Thank you for your time. Sorry to drag you into Markarth's problems, but after that attack in the market, I'm running out of time. You're an outsider. You're dangerous looking. Yes? You must be the Dark Brothers? S sister? The Assassins? Right. Nearly every day for the past six months, along my walks out of the city, I have come across Reachmen always beaten within an inch of their lives. I take time and heal them. Yes, odd perhaps, but they are fellow men. Even if we do not share a religion, it is my duty to help those in need. Yes, well, the violence has been escalating. First, it was one or two hurt men a week. But lately it has been as many as six. Last week, two of them were dead, but in their hands, I found a piece of cloth from a guard uniform. I believe the city guard has been targeting the Reachmen, and given the disdain the people of Markarth have for them, no one is willing to do anything. Please take these uniforms and infiltrate the guard tower. You must identify the guards and kill them. I can give you a bonus if you eliminate them outside of the city limits and convince the guard captain that they were having a feud. It must look like they killed each other. This cannot fall back on the Forsworn. Hi, listener. Bye now. What do you need? Hold on. Let's see cleaning.
let's start our patrol outside the city. Back to the old grind. Listener. Good talk. Consider joining up myself. What do you need, my friend? Say if a vampire so much as scratches you. What is it, soldier? Fighting? Why were they fighting? Those two? Oh dear, that's no good. No, this won't do at all. Thank you for delivering the news. You two, get some rest. What do you need, my friend? What do you need? Wonderful. Maybe now we can have some peace around here. Here's your payment. Plus a bonus.
What do you need, my friend? Kajit was, holding man's head and Jezakar lick his leaking blood. Brad, you are so me. So Nazir asks me what is Kajit doing, and I tell him, can't be as bad as Majir is cooking. <laughs> <laughs> mission for the two of you. Head to Whiterun. Talk to the lonely shopkeeper. Take his gold. And so begins another contract. Hi, listener. 